All right. Shalom Akim. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Baha. Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And salutation to the elect, man. All right. To you brothers out there in the four corners teaching us truth and pushing with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Yeah, man. This is Brother Chaya Ha here. Back with another video. Just real quick through the spirit. I just wanted to go into how um, Yahweh Shim Shah said. He's not going to change for anybody, man. Okay? Yahweh Shimon Shah is not a man that he should repent. All right? That he should change. Because the Lord, and he, he just stays the same, man. All right? So I just want to get into a couple of scriptures going into that. Okay? So this is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. It says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay? And this is pretty plain. This, uh, the Lord said, I change not, man. All right. The Lord is not going to repent from anything that he said. Okay. And going into Jacob, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites. All right. We, we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. All right. If you just go to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. So let me do that right quick just to... um. Again, just going in um, Jacob, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yahweh Shema Shah say he's not going to go back on his word, man. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and all in his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. And this hey, and this is plain, man. All right. Because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have disobeyed the voice of the Lord, your power, man. Okay. When the Lord led us out of Egypt and um, uh, uh, saved us from the hand of Pharaoh and so on and so forth, the Lord said he's going to uh, give you uh, give us the lost as the commandments. And he did that. All right. And being that we broke them, we got consumed. By the um by by curses, man. All right, and if you read on, if, and if you read uh, throughout the whole chapter, man, Yahweh Shemashah sent all of these curses on us. All right, and this is just one example of how the Lord said that He's not gonna lie, man. All right, just like the prophecies in His book, um, they come to pass, man. All right, we have some that uh, have come to pass, and we have some that's still coming to pass, man. Like the um the market of beasts, which is the RFID chip. All right, which is which is coming to pass, man, because you see it on the news, even mainstream media, just about every day now, man. OK, it says these sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right. And the reason why the Lord said that is because uh, what? Yahweh Shemashah made a promise with our forefather Abraham that he was going to be with his seed forever and ever, man. All right. All the blessings, all the promises were made to the Israelites. OK, not to any other nation. So we're not consumed. And on top of that, because we could have been destroyed, Yahweh Shah, who was the um who was the perfect sacrifice to redeem the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, the 144,000 and the one third, okay, his friends. All right, Yahweh Shah came back in the flesh and uh was made into a perfect sacrifice to redeem the nation of Israel, man. Okay, so we are saved by the blood of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, because if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah. Okay, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the whole nation of Israel would have been dead. All right, we, we would have got consumed by the by the wrath and the fury of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and I want to go into the word consumed right quick. It says, um, this is H thirty six fifteen. It says to accomplish, cease, consume, determine, end, fail, finish, be complete, be accomplished, be ended. Be at an end, be finished, be spent. All right. Um, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much the point, man. All right. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shah, the nation of Israel would have been would have been uh, uh finished, man. Okay? Because what? We broke the law, statutes, and commandments that we were supposed to hearken unto. Okay? But the point is, man, Yahweh Shah says he's not gonna change. All right. The scriptures say what? His word is above his name. Let me um 
Let me get that. I believe it's in the book of Psalms. King David was talking about it. The Lord said his word is above his name. Okay. Yep. Con, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 2. It says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. All right. Yahabash and Asha is the truth, man. Okay, which goes back to the scriptures. All right, the Lord is the truth, man. All right, it says, for thou has magnified thy word above all thy name. Okay, so Yahweh Shem is not a man that he should lie. The Lord is not a man that he should repent. Okay, so if the Lord put his word above his name, the Lord, the Lord can't go off. All right, so if the Lord said, what? If we sin against him, he's going to kill us. And that was a promise. All right. But what saved the Lord, oh God, it's like it, what saved Jacob all right, from that promise was that uh, uh, Yahweh shot, man. Okay. Because again, we, hey, man, we all should have been dead. All right. I'm talking about clean slate. We all should have been finished, man. And that was a promise that the Lord made. All right. But Yahweh shot coming back for the sake of the elect. We've, we've been redeemed from uh, uh from that curse. Well, Lord willing, we be those men. We're going to be redeemed from the from that curse, man. All right? Because the curse of the law is uh, uh, death, man. All right? As the scriptures say. So one last scripture I'm going to get, you know, just um through the spirit. Um, Talking about how even Yahweh is the same... Uh, yesterday, today, and forevermore. Let me see if I can get, yep, con, con. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. All right, and this is going into Yahweh's shot because Yahweh said that he's not going to change. So therefore, his son coming back in uh, in the Most High's likeness, he's not going to change, man. Because again, Yahweh's shot came back in the flesh to fulfill the deeds of the law and to um, redeem Israel from the curse, man. The curse of the law. Okay? So this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8. It says, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. All right? Let's go into that word forever. It says, um, G165, forever, an unbroken age, perpetuity of time, eternity. The world's universe period of time. So, hey, man, Yahweh Shah Yahweh never changed, okay? Because in the scriptures, it talks about how we're supposed to keep the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Old Covenant and the New uh, Covenant, man, all right? Because it says in the book of Matthew, I came not to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill, man, all right? So, hey, ain't nothing changed. It's just the only difference now is that we are under grace, all right, and we're under grace because of Yahweh Shai, man. We're under grace because Yahweh had mercy on the nation of Israel because we are his uh, chosen people. All right, us being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. All right, now don't get it twisted. There's going to be a strong portion of our people who, who will die, man. Our grievous deaths by, by way of the sword, man. Famine, pestilence, okay, by an actual sword, by Esau, the so-called white man. All right, two thirds will be consumed, and um, uh, in um, uh, destruction, man, and the Lord's uh, indignation and wrath and fury. All right, so even though the whole nation of Israel is catching hell now, hey, Amen. We're not going to be totally consumed, man. Yahweh Shemasha said He's going to have mercy on His elect. Okay. Well, with that being said, I didn't want to make the video too long. You know, I just want to go into a few scriptures talking about how the Lord is not going to repent. All right. And that he, he's not a man that he should love. All right. So whatever the Lord say, man, it's, hey, it's going to go out. All right. And this is and it's going to be accomplished. OK. So with that being said, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shalom.